All right, welcome YouTubers. Here's another episode here on Hectic Motorsports of the Dramata Series 4.18 MT. It's the uh, Brushless Series. Like I said, the last go around, uh, went ahead and put the aluminum upgrades, the aluminum chassis brace, um, aluminum spur gear, said the aluminum shock towers. Actual shocks, dog bones, hubs. Um, let's see if we can get anything here. I think in the uh, center drive shaft there as well. If you can see that in there, let's see if I can get a better angle. There you go, you can see it in there right there. The aluminum drive shaft there. The original stuff is all plastic and really isn't the best. Let me turn this radio down a little bit. Doesn't seem like it's really the best of quality. So, like I said, these are all the upgrades that I've done to it so far. As you can tell, though, I don't have a steering servo in place. Um, that's actually due to uh, not actually uh, the servo functioning very properly, very well. The Drama to Series servo, uh, they're kind of junk, to be honest. I really don't recommend them at all, to be honest. Um, I went ahead and ordered some new servos, and I'm waiting for those to come in. I was hoping those would have been in by now, but they still are in shipment. It may not be here until sometime next week. But uh, like I said, I also got the Drama to uh, LiPo battery, and... This one here is actually you know, $20 for one battery. I found uh, on Hobby King that you can get like three of them for uh, Turnigy series batteries for 4.18 with the same uh, plug adapter um, off of uh, Hobby King's website. And you can get three of them for the same price as one and pay about $15 in shipment. So it kind of evens out a little bit. Like I said, you get three batteries for what you would pay for that same price of what one of these would be, and including shipment, it, uh, it's kind of a win-win there. And like you got to obviously have the lipo charger to charge the batteries, and you still have the stock, uh, the original battery that's there. Um, so, so that's kind of what I have going on so far. I got a little bit other things going on today. Um, just want to show you a few more parts that came in. See if I can get my phone to figure out. Okay, there we go. So. These are the uh, the hot racing, I believe is what the brand is, um, aluminum arms. So as you can see, these are plastic, not the very uh, uh, best of quality here. So like I said, it's durable for if you want to do your normal running around and things, but eventually it's, just things are going to break. So like I said, you can get these off of uh, actually Hot Racing's website. You can tell they're actually a pretty badass color. I think it's going to offset very, very well with the with the blue there, so uh, we'll see what that looks like when I get those put on. That's one thing. Um, also got new spindles here. As you can see here, if I can try to autofocus, the phone's kind of being a little bit silly today. There we go. Um, spindles here, as you can see, this is actually going to replace inside here on the back wheels. If I'm not mistaken, let's see exactly. No, inside here on the front wheels, I'm sorry. Got the car backwards. Um, it's right here in the front piece. It actually replaces that piece right there that you can kind of see uh, before the hub there. That actually replaces that, or what these are. So I got those for the front. And then, similar circumstance here on the back. These are for the rear, kind of the same deal. But this actually goes on here in the rear. If I can get some light here. It holds in holds in right there where that black piece right where the center blue hub is in that whole surrounding piece is actually going to be replaced by that piece there and you can order all these from uh, tower hobbies is where i got all of this stuff from um also you can get stuff from hot racing as well on their website the uh stock springs they're not the the stiffest i mean they work very well for what the vehicle is i suppose but if you want to really get some more rod height and some more quality i recommend getting the stiffer springs obviously you got to get packs of two so you got to get four of those these are the uh, center pin holders for the a arms here in the front so I kind of get this car situated it's going to be kind of hard to see here uh, don't know if I can get a better a good angle on it to be honest but there's a piece inside of a uh, kind of right right in here in the center right below this this front differential that these pins go through that hold these front a arms in and that is what this is going to replace I showed you guys that and then this is also for the one for the rear 
if I'm not mistaken. So, like I said, that just replaces the plastic pin holders that can be well known for breaking, doing over jumps and everything. This is also some new differential grease because there's also a new uh, thread I follow that you can look and actually uh, trim off some of the shaving, the, the bearings holding that, well, I guess bearing support, I guess is what it is, but it adds a little bit more friction on the drivetrain. So I want to be taking those out and I just went ahead and ordered extra grease to uh, replace the stock grease in there. So, uh, like I said, about the steering servo, I got Drama to send me some servos, stock servos, and then I also went ahead and ordered some new uh, MT901 or 905S servos, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they're just little small you know, servos that are basically just drop in, bolt on, replace, that'll fit in right in the place of this one. So, that should be, you know, better quality. It's metal geared instead of the stock plastic. So, that should uh, hold up a lot better than what the original ones are holding up as. Um, because obviously I can't even drive the thing because it's not working the way it's supposed to. Um, also went ahead and ordered some heavier weight uh, silicone uh, shock fluid so that way I can replace the stock because the stock fluid in there is almost like water. It's not a, not very, very strong. So I'm going to be doing a few things today on that. Um, like I said, I'll go ahead and get working on a few things and I'll show you guys what things turn out as, as I get done with things.